now I'm going to show you how to select and color line art on um, a shaded drawing. So this drawing that we have here was done in pencil on um, colored paper, and it's got a lot of graduated you know, black and white shading. So it's not like the last video where we selected, you know, relatively clean line art that had a nice high contrast. Um, this we've just got a lot going on. Um, but don't fret, we can still select this line art and uh, manipulate it to our whims. So what we're going to do is first we want to raise, uh, we don't want to work on the original canvas layer, we want to move it up one. So we're going to go to um, select all and then we're going to pick our layer adjuster right here and just select inside that selection. So just click inside the select all selection. I'll do that again so that you can see that the whole document is selected. So I went up to select all layer adjuster and just clicked inside. And there we go. And it'll pull the layer up. Now, um, the layer will sort of default to whatever kind of layer was the last, last brush that you used. So if you used like watercolors, um, it might turn into a, a watercolor layer or something like that. So I just make sure that I've got um, something other than watercolor <laughs> selected in my brushes. All right, so now we've got our, our layer moved up from the canvas so we can work with it. Um, now, one thing you could do is that if you really wanna work with everything kind of as is and you just wanna add color, then you can just change this layer to um, multiply, and I'm gonna make a new layer above my canvas just so I can show you. So you can change it to multiply, um, then pick a brush and uh, and just kind of go in and color. This is just a really rough example. And you see how multiply still lets the color show through. Um, you can also change that layer to gel. And depending on the original work, you'll get a slightly different look from gel or multiply, but it's really up to you. So that's like a really simple way if you're fine um, with having all the content that's in the original image be present in the, in the file. Um, but another way you can do it, we're gonna just uh, delete this color layer here, is we can go up to our layer and go up to, oh, my menu is missing. <laughs> Effects, tonal control, and um, we're gonna adjust the colors. And what I'm gonna do is completely desaturate it. So we're working with black and white. Then I'm gonna go to effects, tonal control, and um, equalize. And I'm gonna play with the brightness and the blacks and the whites. So I'm gonna make these whites really white because I'm hoping to eliminate all this white background around the outside of the character. So I'm gonna make these whites really white. I'm gonna pull up my darks so that I'm really increasing the contrast on this image. All right, so that looks pretty good to me right about there. All right, okay. So then we're gonna to go to um, select, auto select image luminance. We did this in the straightforward line art um, tutorial as well. We're gonna do that same thing here. And you'll see your selection will show you how much of this extra area around the drawing was selected. And, and if you don't have your contrast pumped up high enough, you're gonna get a lot of this area around here selected and it's really gonna be like the original texture of the paper. And the whole point of doing this is that you assumed, it's assumed that you don't want that. So we've got all that selected. We're gonna take a new layer here, pick a nice color so that you can really see. We're gonna to go to our paint bucket, make sure that fill cell is selected. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. And click inside. And we've now got a pink steam bag. So I'm going to deselect, turn off this black layer, and you can see how she's all beautiful hot pink now. Go down to my canvas, and if I wanted to get really crazy, I could, let me select my brush hair. <clears throat> I could go in and just start 
adding color. And so this, the layer that she's on is set to default. So that means it's gonna stay this color. Here, let me do a more uh, realistic color for you so that you can get a better idea. So we're gonna do more realistic skin tone here for her just to kind of bring her to life. So basically, because I have this pink layer set to default, it's gonna stay the exact color that I colored it. It's not gonna interact with the colors underneath it in any way. Now, if I wanted it to do that, I would click gel, and you see how it kind of, it darkens. It creates like a um, transparent layer that multiplies in a sense and interacts with the color beneath it. You could also choose multiply, and that's slightly different. Gel tends to be, more intense, more saturated, whereas multiply is just a duplication. And I could do anything. I could do screen, and she looks kind of negative, what you can see of her. Soft light, very pretty. Hard light, we definitely have got like a neon Pepto-Bismol pink now. Um, but that's it. That's how you uh, color a, uh, a finely shaded pencil drawing, your, your line art in Corel Painter. Thanks for watching.